G'day and welcome back. So today we're going to take this footage here and turn it into this footage here using Relight, but also using keyframes to make our Relight come in at a certain time of the video. Hi, how you're going? I'm well, no headache today and no bottle of wine last night. I'm pretty sure those things coincide with each other. Let's look at how we can create that effect. So this is our image before I've done the grade and this is the image afterwards. So obviously we have a very dark looking image. So we're going for a day for night look with Relight. So I got this idea by watching a Casey Farris video. He did a really fantastic job with Relight when using the exterior of a building for little uh, spots of light. Now I'll leave a link below so you can check that out. It's really good. He's a very good um, YouTuber, much better than me. So I'd probably follow him instead of following me. But today I thought we'd do something a little bit differently. So we're gonna use the lamp for our source of light, but we're also gonna keyframe it in. So it only comes in at a certain time. Now I haven't seen other people do this, so this may be your first chance to see relight and keyframing together. Very excited. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make a layer node. So in this node here, press Control L, that'll make that layer node. Now our image looks completely awful. So what you wanna do is disconnect this one here. We want the information to be fed from here, not this node here. So connect it back up to here. So now we have our image. The next step is to add a power window. So come down to your power windows, come down to your circle one here. Let's chuck it over the lamp here. And the key to making Relight look natural is to make it very soft. So we'll add it like this. Okay, so that's looking okay for now. Let's bring this across a little bit more. And we're bringing that more and even more. So that's our look so far. It doesn't look fantastic, but we can make some changes to make it look better. Now what we need to do is our keyframing, because if we go back to our start of our clip, as you can see, it is already affecting our clip. So we need to be in this part here. Okay, so this is where the lamp is off. The next one is when it is a little bit on, and that's when it is fully on. So what we need to do is keep the power window off until we start hitting that light. Now to do this, we need to do some keyframing. So come down to keyframe, which is next to your scopes here. Now we're in corrector number two, which is down here. So corrector number two, so click that. Any adjustments you make, DaVinci Resolve will automatically put in a keyframe. So let's move this power window out. And as you can see, it's added that keyframe. So we go back to the start of the clip. So as you can see, that power window isn't affecting that lamp. So we need it to jump in at here. So let's bring it across to here and let's make it a lot smaller. Let's bring it out a little bit more, make it a little bit softer, bring it out. Alrighty, so that's our first keyframe. Now let's go across to our next one. So this is full brightness. So let's soften it right out like we did before. And we'll save it there, it looks pretty good. Now any adjustments we make, we want to make in this keyframe here, not this keyframe here. So obviously this is a much darker frame here. We want to be working in the brightest frame, which is this one here. So now they have keyframes set up. Now we can start doing relight. So come up to your FX, type in re for relight, put it on our node here. Now, as you can see, Resolve has done its thing. So I'm not going to go through each one of these. I did make a video about this, so check that out. I'll leave a link below or it'll be up here somewhere and that'll talk to you about what does what. But for now, we're going to use the point source, which I think is basically like a lamp. We're using a lamp, so we should use the lamp one. So take off this. Let's go to Shift F. Here is a lot of issues. For one, we have this weird, weird vignette around this guy here. Okay, so we need to fix that. So let's make some adjustments. First of all, let's put our brightness down a little bit. Around about there looks pretty good. Now let's put our reach right up to around 750. Contrast, let's put that right up. Glossiness, we want that right down. Shadow softness, right up. Okay, now we have an image, but it's still very dark. So let's get out of this by pressing Shift F. Now let's go down to our primaries and let's push it up. And make sure you're in the proper keyframe here. Now there's one more thing we can do to make this look even better. So Shift F again. Now this is really going to help you make this look even more natural. Blanking regions change handle automatically to process entire frame. Now look at the difference that has made. I don't know if you can pick that up at YouTube, but this is a huge difference. This looks so much better than it did before. So let's do a couple more things to make this look even better. For one, 
I'm going to add a little bit more density to this light. So what we can do is come down to curves here and let's bring it right down. That's giving our light a lot more depth to it and it looks a lot better. Now, also what we can do is go back to our primaries and just push it towards an orangey red type of look. Just a little bit looking good. Now let's go to the blur and sharpen. And what I want to do, come across to the sharpen one. So this little triangle here. Now let's bring it down to around 47. So the lower the number, the sharper the image. And 47 is a good number. It's not too crazy sharp. So it's not looking unnatural. So there's our image looking very good. That light looks really nice. Has a really nice density to it. Now let's do a playback and see what it looks like. So we can see the effect of the light being turned on. Alrighty, a man comes in the frame here. Pitch black, he should just turn the light on the kitchen. A little bit strange, but that's okay. Looks at the book in the dark. And then turns the light on. So that looks really good. We have a really nice density to our light. The color looks really good, but it also looks quite natural. It doesn't look like we've added that FX in. And I think that's what's really important about using Relight is making it look natural to your scene, not making it look completely crazy that people obviously know you're using Relight. Okay, so let's do the one without the Relight now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this still, which we'll save in our gallery here, and we'll call it Re for Relight. Now, next step is to take this FX off. So right click and remove OFX plugin. Now let's make sure we're in the right keyframe. Okay, as you can see, we have a very blown out line. So let's make that a lot better. In our primaries, let's bring that down. That looks pretty good. Now, I think we'll leave the curves as is. We want that density still. That looks good. Let's go to our end keyframe here. Or end frame, sorry. So this is our image without the relight on. And now this is with the relight on. Now, it's not a massive difference, I have to be honest. But relight just makes it look a little bit more natural compared to this. This looks a little bit all just one light compared to relights. Has a little bit more density to it. It looks slightly better. But all in all, I wouldn't say Relight is amazingly better. In fact, I'd say it's only a little bit better compared to using without. Now, without obviously it doesn't look as good. It just lacks a little bit of polish. But if you don't have Relight, then I think just doing this is an easy way of getting around it. But well, what do you guys think? Do you think Relight looks amazing? Do you think it's overrated? Do you think you can just use this instead? I mean, we can make a few more adjustments to this. And it wouldn't be that far off. A real light just has a couple of little nice subtleties to it. Just the way the light wraps around our subject here and this lamp here. It just looks a little bit better than this here, but not that much difference. So let me know in the comments below what do you think about real light? And also, have you been using any keyframing with your relighting? I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. it took a long time. Relight is very harsh on my computer. But today I did actually speed up my computer because my housemate said that having two GPUs that are different is actually slowing your computer down, and it was. So thank you for that. She has very good advice with the computers. She is a computer whiz. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. I've been Drew from Gingo Productions. Have a great day.